Hello ladies and gentlemen, patch 1.3 has just hit the live servers. So here's this TLDR rundown of the, the patch. First of all, the new map Icon Vault is now playable on the weekly brawl. I suggest that everyone go play it and learn the map. And other than that, more importantly, Season 2 has started. So they changed Season 2's point system compared to Season 1. Season 1 was a 1 to 100 scale. Now they changed it to 1 to 5000. So here are the different tiers. Bronze tier is 1 to 1499. Silver is 1500 to 1999. Gold is 2000 to 2499. Platinum is 2,500 to 2,999. Diamond is 3,000 to 3,499. Master tier is 3,500 to 3,999. And finally, master tier is 4,000 to 5,000. So, in bronze, silver, gold, and platinum, you do not have ELO decay or point system decay. Uh, players with rating above 3000, such as Diamond or above, will have ELO decay if they do not complete a ranked game within 7 days. ELO will decay at a rate of 50 ELO per 24 hours, but won't go lower than 3000. So once you hit Diamond, you basically can't drop out of Diamond. Uh, players who are in the top 500 have to complete a game once a week or else they'll drop out of the top 500 regardless of rating. So all existing competitive points from Season 1 are now multiplied by 10. As you can see here, I have 800 and something competitive points now. So now when you play ranked games, instead of getting one competitive point for each victory, you get 10. Games can now become draws, which replace the sudden death mechanism. So if you do get a draw, both teams get 3 points instead of 10. Golden weapons now cost 3000 points instead of 300. There's a soft cap of 6000 competitive points. You can't have more than 6000 even if you win more games. However, at the end of the season, you do get the end of season rewards. And this allows you to go over the soft cap of 6000 competitive points. But seriously guys, why would you save so much competitive points for? You might as well buy those Zenyatta Golden Bowls. Players must win at least 50 ranked games to be eligible for the top 500, so there's no more random, random play 10 placement matches and hit top 500 shenanigans. The Need Healing emote now places a marker on top of the healer. For example, if I'm playing Mercy, there'll be a marker on my head, so players now know where you are and can run towards you to get healed. Most heroes can now sit and laugh. I don't think Bastion has a sit emote. And D.Va can stream herself playing video games and eat Doritos and drink Mountain Dew, 10 out of 10. There's a new legendary skin for Reinhardt, which looks super awesome. Now for the big changes for champions. D.Va's defense matrix doesn't regenerate as fast anymore. Hanzo moves faster while aiming now. Uh, Hanzo's arrows travel faster. Hanzo's arrow size has been decreased. Genji is still Genji, but just not as hard to hit anymore. Lucio's movement speed boost is now 70% instead of 100%. Mei's ultimate now pierces barriers and radius is increased from 8 meters to 10 meters. Mercy's heal now heals 60 HP per second instead of 50. When Mercy reses her teammates, they are now able to move after 2.25 seconds instead of 3. Roadhog's hooks are no longer OP like this. Soldier can now shoot in short bursts and hit people properly. Zenyatta's Discord Orb now amplifies all damage by 30% in instead of 50%. Zenyatta's auto attack damage has been increased from 40 to 46. So this video was a little bit rushed because I wasn't expecting the patch to hit today to be honest because they said the release date was the 6th. So I thought this video would come out a little bit later, like in two days. But because the patch hit today, I thought might as well rush it and get the info out there if you guys didn't want to read the really extensively long patch notes. 
But I put in the description below the link in case you're curious and you want to find out more detail about specific characters like Genji because I don't play Genji, that's why I don't really know what the changes did to him. Um, I also just created a Twitter account. Uh, you could check it out here. It's at master underscore Karopi. Because uh, Karopi was taken and I didn't want to put numbers because that's confusing. Uh, yeah, thanks Thanks for watching the video. I, I have a pretty big video coming up, but it's a lot of editing and I'm still learning how to edit videos properly, so please be patient. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Until the next one. Uh, McCree's Deadeye will now drain to 0% when activated instead of 50%. And yeah. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Well, just, just liking would be good for me, I guess.